This video demonstrates activation of SQL Trace for a particular user in CA Clarity PPM version 13. Navigate and log on to the Clarity System Administration page, CSA, earlier known as NSA. This is the Clarity System Administration Overview page. On the Overview page, go to the Server section and click the Logs icon. If you have multiple application servers, then select the appropriate server name for which SQL Trace needs to be generated. On the Logs tab, click on Edit Configuration to configure Logger Properties. On the Logger Properties page, navigate to the Appenders section and check the row having XML in the name field. Click on Copy Appender. A new row with the name XML-Copy would be created in the Appender section. Edit the name to XML underscore username for the user you want to generate the SQL Trace for. In this case, the username is Clarity User. To generate username specific trace file, navigate to the file column in the same row. Modify the entry trace.xml to trace.username.xml in this case, it is trace.clarityuser.xml. This is the best practice suggested, but you can give any name you want to in the file generated using that name. Save the changes. Navigate to the category section and click the add category button. A new row is added at the end of the categories list with the name com.niku. Trace.server.user.username should be entered in the other name column. In this case, it is Clarity User. In the Appender dropdown, select the Appender created earlier. In this case, it is XML underscore Clarity User. Select the priority based on the level of logging required. Here, all is selected for detail logging. Check the additive checkbox now. Save the settings. Selecting the save button in the previous step activates the SQL trace. Notice the alert message on the top which confirms the activation. Log out from Clarity System Administration page. To generate SQL trace for the same user, log in to the Clarity application with his or her credentials. In this case, the username is Clarity User. Navigate the application is desired to generate the relevant SQL trace. In this video, we are navigating the project details for demonstration. Now log out of the application. Relog in into Clarity System Administration to view the new generated SQL trace logs. On the Clarity System Administration Overview page, Click the Logs icon for the respective server. Under the Log Viewer sub-tab, search for the generated trace log in the Log File drop-down. In this case, it is the selected file generated for the user, Clarity User. Select the file size as desired from the drop-down, Max Size. Click the Go button to display the log. Else, download the file using the download option. Open the downloaded trace log using an appropriate tool. After ensuring the trace file generated is appropriate, it is of the utmost importance to disable the SQL trace on the user profile. In order to do so, click the Edit Configuration sub-tab. Navigate to the category section and remove the category trace.server.user.username, which was added while enabling the trace. Navigate to the appender section to remove the added appender. In this case, the appender is XML underscore Clarity User. Save the changes. Clicking on the Save button in the previous step deactivates the SQL trace. Log out from the Clarity System Administration page.
For more information, contact CA Support. Thank you for watching.